My name is James Wakelin. Um, I'm from Canada. I'm 23 years old and um, I've been studying here in China for about three months now. And why did you choose to come to China? Yeah, um, I decided to come to China because I believe education is more of an experience than just what you learn in textbooks. And uh, coming to China, I had a great opportunity through my university to do a dual degree program, the first one between North America and China. So I'm sent as the first person from this batch um, just to try out the program and to experience the culture. And what's it like in Beijing? Um, I, I like it a lot. It's a lot different from Canada, um, just because Canada you have a lot of different ethnicities mixing together in one country, whereas in China I feel like there's not that many expats or people from outside China um, come here that often. So um, I live off campus, so a lot of people get to stare at you or take pictures and stuff, but um, I, I quite enjoy it. It's, it's different, but it's, it's very um, appealing, I guess. Yeah, it's very convenient to living here. Was this your first time in China? Yes, it's my first time in China. First time leaving North America, actually. So um, coming to a completely different country is, is uh, new to me. Yeah. What was it like when you first arrived in China? Uh, when I arrived, I wasn't really quite sure what to expect. Um, since I'm the first one from my program, things were a little different with um, housing and, and stuff like that since I'm not living on campus. So trying to find an apartment on my own, not speaking any Chinese, um, it, was, it was quite difficult with that. But luckily I have a lot of friends who are able to help me. And uh, uh, you always hear bad stereotypes about other countries before you visit there. Um, so people back home who have not been to China, they're like, you know, just be safe, be careful. But coming here, I realize it's very safe and uh, very convenient. Um, so I had no problem adjusting. Have you traveled much around China, or do you plan to? Um, I've only left Beijing once, and that was to go to Pingyao, the ancient city of Pingyao, um, for the immersion week with IBS. Um, so um, I tried to see lots of the museums and learn about the culture and history there, but definitely I, I want to check out the rest of China. I'm here for two years and I have plans in the winter holidays um, to, to travel out to the rest of China here. What do you think of food in China? Um, actually, I like it. Um, I am definitely open to new experiences. Um, in the ancient city of Pingyao, it's definitely different from the food in, in Beijing. That was quite repetitive in Pingyao. That it seemed like I had the same thing for um, breakfast, lunch, and supper, but um, for the rest of China, um, each zone seems like to have its own type of food, and uh, I, I like trying new things, so I had no problem adjusting to the different types of food. Uh, what do you think of life outside the classroom? What is that like in China? Yeah, life outside the classroom um, is definitely very fun. Um, I, I like to go around and check out different places. So near my, um, my apartment, there's a shopping mall I didn't even know existed. It was underground, and I like to go explore and check out new things. Um, it seems like people are, are very friendly and always willing to invite you to things, um, especially with being part of the International University. There's a lot of people who want to go explore and want to go do new things. So lots of uh, karaoke or if you want to go to a bar or go to a museum, people are always uh, willing to invite you to those things. So I feel like outside of the classroom, there's lots of activities you can take part in um, off campus. What is karaoke like in China? Um, KTV is, is pretty fun. Um, I realize it's a lot more... Uh, professional than back home. Um, in Canada you would just have a classic restaurant or bar and there would be one mic but I saw here at KTV there's uh, very fancy ones with lots of chandeliers and full stages and lots of props you can use so yeah it's quite different but it's definitely a ex good experience. Yeah. Can you sing any Chinese songs? No, I, I cannot, yeah. Uh, my Chinese is very bad, yeah. <laughs> you think you need ch a Chinese in China? Um, I think that if you're staying in the international area, if you're only here for one semester, you don't need Chinese um, to survive. Um, but since I live off campus, um, I'm still not know like I still don't know that much Chinese. But it's very easy to get around. Like the the public system um, for transportation is in English as well. Um, with apps nowadays, it's very easy to not know the language and um, translate it. So I feel like it's not essential, but it'll definitely help you get a better relationship and to go to different places that aren't um, very English friendly. What do your family think about you coming to China? So my family, um, they're farmers traditionally, um, so they don't believe in leaving the home that often um, or going very far away. So when I told them I was to leave home and go to China, they were kind of resistant to the idea at first, um, but since I've moved uh, away from home a few years um, before I'd made this decision, they knew I'm my own person and, and um, they said, just be safe. Um, my mom said her exact words were, I knew you'd do something like this, just be safe. <laughs> so as long as I keep updating them what's going on, um, they're really happy and supportive of me. Do you think people in Canada understand what China is really like? No, um, I think 
China has had a bad stigmatism um, for people in Canada, especially around where um, I'm from in Edmonton there. Um, a lot of people are just scared of the unknown and if they need to get a visa to get in, um, they think it's very scary because usually Canada is very open to everyone else in the world. With our passport we can get anywhere we want except for like China and a few other places. What do you think about, like what do you plan to do in the future? Yeah, so um, with the international business degree, uh, like I said before, I'm getting a dual degree. So I'll get one degree from the IBS and one degree from my home university. Um, I plan on opening international businesses, more specifically hospitals. Um, before this, I did university towards uh, medicine. Um, so I want to open my own hospitals internationally since Canada is privatized, but the rest of the world, uh, most countries are not privatized for healthcare. And what makes you go into healthcare? Um, I'm always fascinated by the human body and its intricacies. Um, it's ever changing always with the amount of science and the amount of um, evidence of different findings. Um, there's always technology can be paired with biometrics, so things can always keep evolving and keep be interesting and people always need to um, see uh, a doctor just like everyone needs tires on their car. How would you describe China in one word? Convenient. Is there anything you'd like to tell people if they're considering coming to China? Mm -hmm. um, I'd say definitely do it. Um, it's not scary at all. It's very safe. Um, if you have any doubts, there's lots of um, people here to help you um, adjust to your new life. Um, it's a great place for opportunity for people who especially speak English and have um, North American or Europe accents. Um, it's a place where a lot of people admire your passion and skills, even just from coming from a different country. Very accepting.